Hey family, happy Hello. to have you guys here. Uh, we just want to talk about what's going on in this crazy situation since our world has been turned upside down. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> what is going on? Everyone is on quarantine. I mean, it's crazy. Folks are losing jobs. Um, it's just everyone's world. I don't care if you believe in the coronavirus or how you feel about it. It's affecting everyone's right. lives. Everyone. And I've been saying that from the beginning. Um, it's just affecting everyone. I don't care who you are, what state you're in. Right. It's across the world. And yes. it, it's a pandemic and we have to deal with it. And that's what this video is about today. We want to talk about how folks need to rely, especially during these times, rely on Yah and not on man. That's the title. That's the topic of this video. Rely on Yah and not on man. So I want to start with, we first want to say, uh, like I said a while ago, we don't care how you feel about the coronavirus. We believe that it's real. People... We know people, I know someone that died from it in our community. I went to school with a guy, he was 41 years old. That's what the medical people said that he died from. But um, it's affected his family. Um, our city is shut down. Um, people we know, we're in Louisiana, people in Texas, they're shut down. We can't even go into Texas. <laughs> if we go, we have to get, uh, we have to stay inside for like 14 days. We have to quarantine if we go across the border. Yes. So. And my sister is in Texas. Right. I have a nephew in Texas. Mm -hmm. So they can't come here and we can't go there unless we quarantine, we quarantine. for, what, exactly. 14 days? Yeah. So it's affecting folks across the world. And that kind of reminds me of... Uh, back to relying on Yah and not on man. What we're seeing just from our friends, groups, from being on social media, from our family members, that people are relying a lot on man. Mm. <laughs> They're not even turning to Yah. You don't hardly hear people talking about prayer or turning to Yah or any of that stuff. Faith. Right. And that just reminds me back to the scriptures of uh, the Hebrews when they wanted a king in, in 1 Samuel. In fact, let's go to First Samuel chapter yes, eight, let's verse four, let's see. and we'll just just touch on this briefly. This is when the Hebrews requested a king because why they wanted to be like the other nations, and, and Yah always told them in the scriptures that He would provide for them, He would protect them, that they should turn to Him in their time of need, and he, He's gonna care for them. So this is what First Samuel eight eight verse four. Okay, verse 4, okay. You can read it. Verse 4 through 18. Yeah. Okay, it says, let's see. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah and said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Mm. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed to Yahuwah. And Yahuwah said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people and all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me. Mm that I should not reign over them mm -hmm. according to all the works which they have done since the day that I have brought them out of Egypt mm -hmm. even unto this day wherewith they have forsaken me and served other gods so do they also unto thee pause now, right quick pause right quick so that just reminds me um, in no way we're saying that we're prophets or we're Samuel, but we're trying to get you guys to turn back to Yah because all of the things that he's done for us, turn away from our wicked ways, all the miracles that he's done in our lives. And it's just amazing how quick we forget those things of how he wants us to turn back. And, right. He and just wants us to, to look to him. Right. You know? And a lot of times he gives us the things that we ask for because that's what he's telling Samuel. It's not that they're rejecting you. Mm -hmm. It's not that you guys are rejecting this message. It's just that 
he's letting you go the, the way that you want to go. Right. You, he's giving you the choice. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So he gives us the things that we want that <laughs> we ask for. Right. Mm -hmm. And he just said, well, you're going to suffer the consequences. So right. go right on ahead. You don't want right to listen. Ahead. You want to lean on man. Then mm -hmm. Let me know how that works out for you. Right. <laughs> right. And you can go back. Mm -hmm. You want to continue? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, therefore, hearken unto their voice. However, yet protest solemnly unto them. And show them the manner of the king that shall reign over them. So this is verse 10. And Samuel told all of the words of, the, of Yahuwah unto the people that asked of him a king. And he said, this will be the manner of the king that shall reign over you. Mm -hmm. He will take your sons and appoint them for himself, mm. for his chariots and to be his horsemen. Mm. And some shall run before, the, before his chariots. And he will appoint him captains over, thous over thousands mm -hmm. and captains over fifties and will set them to ear his ground mm -hmm. and to reap his harvest and to make his instruments of war and instruments of his chariots. And he will take your daughters to be confectionaries and to be cooks mm -hmm. and to be bakers. Mm -hmm. And he will take your fields and your vineyards and your olive yards, even the best of them, and give them to his servants. Wow. So pause right there. Mm -hmm. That just reminds me of, we've talked to a lot of people, and you know also, a lot of people are, the government is telling us to sit home, and a lot of people are like, I don't have no problem with it. <laughs> they want us to take a hand out. So it's kind of mm -hmm. like they're conditioning us yes. to... Take this hand out. Yes. You're going to survive on this little $1,200. We'll take care of you. Right. We're going to take care of you. Even with the unemployment. Exactly. I mean, which is important for some families, I mm -hmm. understand, because there's a lot of families who have lost. Right, who's unemployed. Right, their jobs. But they but, have some people just feeling like, you know what, I'd rather just stay home and collect it. Exactly. You know. And how long that's going to last for you. But just know this, that you make the deal with the devil that he's going to want something in return. Mm -hmm. So... We're not just getting these unemployments and this little stimulus checks with, without any strings attached to it. So just know that <clears throat> these little bonuses and these things that <laughs> everyone is so happy about, there's going to be strings attached to it. Right. And, and it's going to eventually come to an end. Exactly. That's not going to last forever. No. Especially with everything that is shut down. Exactly. I mean, with, talking, the longer it takes. They're the talking long about this thing lasting for 18 months. So the longer it takes, the longer it's going to take to restore the, the you know, the right. world. Restore the economy. The economy, back. right. So that's just crazy. Right. Um, well, you want I me think, to continue? Yeah, continue up to 18. It says, and so I'm on 15. Mm -hmm. And he will take the tenth of your seed and of your vineyards and give to his officers and to his servants. And he will take your manservants and your maidservants, mm. and your goodliest young men, and your asses, and put them to his work. Mm. He will take the tenth of your sheep, and ye shall be his servants. Mm. And ye shall cry out in that day, because of your king, which you shall have chosen you. And Yahuwah will not hear you in that day. Uh. Mm -hmm. That's so powerful. So the scripture tells us, guys, that when we rely on the government, when we rely on man, he's going to demand something in return. Those things are going to come with strings attached. And then after, <laughs> he supplies you with those things and you didn't foresee the things that he was, he was going to put on you. Now you're going to cry back and hearken back to Yah. Now you're going to say, Yah, please deliver me. When he wanted you to do that from the beginning. So this is what this teaching is about, guys. We want you to see right now the focus and all this chaos of what's going on. Keep your eyes focused on the prize, and that's on y'all. Right. Don't look to these governments. Don't look to these so-called experts as far as, as what we should do or the next steps that we should take. We're not saying don't be smart and don't be safe for your family. 
uh, and, and and say no to a stimulus right. check that can really help right. you and your family. Help. I mean, but we're just saying, right, like, just you know? be wise and, and, and look at the overall, look at the big picture. Right. Don't just look at the trees, look right. at the whole forest of what's going on. Right. And that's what we're going to touch on. So you want to talk about some of the things you've been seeing on social media? Oh my, it's a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Um, A lot of the stuff, like, I, I mean, I've been so shocked. Um, I'm seeing people, they're, they're commenting, saying, um, lock us down, put us on lockdown, wow. please. Like, they're begging mm -hmm. uh, to be put on lockdown. Mm -hmm. um, they also are um, saying, arrest the people who are not listening. And I'm like, wow, do you guys understand what you are saying? Exactly. You know, and, and, and what, you know, as, as many... I mean, as long as they continue to keep crying for this, it, right? Matter of exactly. fact, it goes to Samuel. Exactly. They were crying out for that, ruler, right? right that for king. right, and um, y'all gave it to them. So mm -hmm. it kind of like reminds me of that. They're crying out, saying, "Look, rule over us." Pretty mm -hmm. much, that's what they're saying. Do what right. you got to do. Put us on lockdown. But they're not understanding the consequences that's going to come with that because that means our freedom as a people. Exactly. Very true. Also, uh, a lot of people were seeing they're, <laughs> they're blaming Trump. Oh, my goodness. Again, we don't want to make this political. Right. But a lot of people, what we fail to realize is that y'all appoints these people. So if, if you're mad at Trump, you're mad at the government or whatever. You're, you're really mad at Yah. Because he puts these people in power. He puts the authorities over us. And, whether uh, we agree exactly, with them or agree, not. We with, don't agree with half of the things right. that these people do with this government, but Yah puts them in power. So we if, pray for them. Exactly, we have to pray for them and pray, pray for our them. nation. Pray for the nation. That just reminds me in Daniel how it talks about um, Yah putting these people in power. It's in Daniel 2 verse... Let me grab it right quick. Um... Daniel 2.21, Daniel 2.21, and it just talks about how he, that really Yah is in control of everything. Mm -hmm. It says that um, he controls the course of world events. He removes kings. He sets up kings. Mm -hmm. He sets up other kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the scholars. So he tells us right in his word. That he removes the kings. He sets kings mm -hmm. up. He's control of all of these things. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's Yah's. <laughs> Yah's in control of all of this, guys. So if we mad at Trump or the governments or, or this thing happening, the virus happening, whatever. Whatever's going on, we're mad at Yah. He allows these things to happen. So I don't care how you look at it. This is Yah's doing. None of this stuff can happen without the eye. None of it. And I think all of this that's happening is, is for us to draw back closer to him. To rely on him, because right. as we know, a lot of the world, just in general, is getting further and further away from Yah, and He's showing them that you have to rely on Me. You right. can't depend on this world. Absolutely, and um, you know, a lot of people are also in in the midst of all of that. We've seen a lot who are very fearful. Mm -hmm. um, I see brothers and sisters in the faith like they don't even connect with you on social media. Right. You know, you may be, you may have them in your friends list, mm. and they don't even connect with you. And now, since all of this is going on, you see, I'm seeing massive tags. You know, just tags left and right of right. um, foot, like fear tactic tags, like um, Trump is doing this, this evil, such and such and such, like crazy stuff, and he's doing this to the world. Right. We're gonna do, th we're gonna see this coming. We're gonna do. I mean. It's nothing to encourage the brethren. Right. It's nothing to encourage faith. Mm -hmm. Because really we are saved by faith. Exactly. So all of this fear. when you, I mean there's so many verses in the word that tells us to fear not. Exactly. And instead of encouraging that. All I'm seeing is things that can place believers under more fear. When Yah tells us to trust him right. and to fear not. So. It's like the, the old saying that misery loves company right? <laughs> so. <laughs> A lot of people are living in fear and trying to drag you down and, and we're going to talk about that, about the media and, and just how 
it's just so many fear attacks like you're talking about and just to keep everybody in a state of fear a state of depression man i mean basically you basically have to turn the television off during these right. times that that's going on and the television is doing it enough to us so just thinking about believers you know exactly. doing the same thing i mean it's disheartening this world right exactly we're supposed to be in it but not of it not of our it our faith is supposed to be strong within the world exactly so i'm not understanding exactly you know? we have to look at it different and it's guys. not all believers but i'm seeing a lot of it and i'm i have just been so shocked mm -hmm. i'm like no and i have to keep removing the tags removing the tags mm -hmm. i mean it, it gets me so frustrated when i see it because it makes me just want to just unfollow these people when in in you know Mm -hmm. No longer be friends, but that's our brethren in the faith, so I pray for them. But, I mean, it's it's extreme. It's just disheartening. We had another scripture, too, dealing with that uh, 2 Timothy 3.2. Uh, and it just talks about... Mm -hmm. um, that goes back to the fear and, and how people... Also, not only people are living in fear, a lot of people is just... They think it's business, business as usual. It's like <laughs> nothing is really going on. They're right. not paying attention to what's happening. Oh my goodness, they have so a lot of them. You have two, like two polar opposite. You have folks on this hand that are so fearful. Everything is fear, fear, fear. Be scared. Then you have the other folks that are just nothing's happening. Nothing's going on. Let's just keep living like we were living before. People, you better Wilding wake up, out. right, and see what's going on. I'm sure you guys have seen that the the DJs and the, the Facebook DJs. Oh my goodness! The virtual parties, right? So like they bring in the club on social home, media, exactly. So into the homes of the people. This is crazy. In Second uh, Timothy three two, if you turn to that, it talks about for people will be love lovers of themselves and their money. They will be boastful and proud, scoffing at Yah, disobedient to their parents, and ungrateful. They will consider nothing sacred. They will be unloving and unforgiving. They will slander others and have no self-control. They will be cruel and hate what is good. So that's crazy how the scripture tells us that in these last days how people will be. And, and we're actually seeing that play out. That people will be lovers of themselves and it's all about them. Don't have a clue. Don't have a clue of what's going on. You had some scriptures too about... Um, I do have some scriptures. Control yes, um, this yes. Um, let's see. We're gonna turn. Let's turn to First Corinthians, um, Corinthians seven. First Corinthians seven. Thirteen through sixteen. Well, actually, no. This is wrong. This is second. I'm sorry. Second Chronicles seven. Thirteen through sixteen. Okay. Yeah, because with all of this that is going on, what a lot of people is, you know, um, of this world is failing to understand that Yah is the one who is in control of all of this. He mm -hmm. is the one that is orchestrating this. Yes. Um. And let me see Second Chronicles. Let me make sure that I have I'm on the right page. And it reads, if I shut up heaven, that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Mm. Now mine eyes shall be open and mine ears attentive unto the prayer that is made in this place. Mm. Wow. So this is powerful because we just read how y'all puts the governments in place mm -hmm. and kings in place. Right. But right here it also shows how he can bring pestilence upon the land. So this is he's actually telling us the solution hmm. he's saying to pray and seek his face and turn from our wicked ways so when you see a, a world you know with so many people i mean more than it has ever been mm -hmm. that is just wilding out and hmm. still doing i mean they're looking at this they're not even looking at this as a crisis nope. they're looking at it as 
everything gonna get back to normal everything is okay and they're still wilding out i mean there's things that i'm seeing i'm <laughs> i'm trying not to go that deep right but i mean just just women exploring themselves i mean just the, like you said um djs coming out and bringing the club into the homes still and lovers of self lovers of self i mean it's just crazy mm -hmm. and i'm like don't they realize what is happening Exactly. We really need to turn, you know, our hearts back to Yah. Back to Yah. And this is what's happening right now. This is really what He is um, looking for us to do. Mm -hmm. Turn our hearts back because the world has just gone too far away from Him. Exactly. He controls these things. Yes. He said in His Word. Absolutely. So. And matter of fact, I want to share just a few more of the scriptures that um, confirms that too. Mm -hmm. And um, Isaiah 45, 7 it says, I form light hmm. and create darkness. I make well-being and create hmm. calamity. <laughs> I am Yahuwah who does all these things. Yes, it is. So for the, <laughs> everyone that's mad at, at Trump and, and everybody else in the government, you, you, be, you have to be mad at Yah. He's telling you. He creates these things. He creates these He's things. He's in control. And um, actually, this is very powerful too, that Further confirms that. Mm -hmm. It says in Proverbs 21 1. Proverbs 19. Oh, mm -mm, right here. Oh. Pro mm -hmm. I'm reading this one. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he directs it like a water course wherever he pleases. Wow. My goodness. So we're saying that the king's heart, the leaders, are their heart is in Yah's hand. He's steering he it where it. Yep. He, he wants, wants it, it to go. go according to his purpose and plans, his will, his judgment upon the earth. Exactly. So, I mean, and, and even if, when you think about it, think about um, Moses, not right. Moses, Pharaoh. When, um, Pharaoh, when Moses was trying to fr help free the people. Mm -hmm. What it said, Yah hardened his, his heart. heart. <laughs> so, he's in control Yah's of the heart. control. Depend on Yah, not on man. Not on man. Ain't that the truth? And it says in Isaiah 45, well, I just read that one. Proverbs 19, 21. Mm -hmm. Many are the plans in the mind of a man, mm. but it is the purpose of Yahuwah that will stand. <laughs> it's his purpose. It's his he just purpose. said that. His plans. All of these things that are happening is his plans. Right. It's his purpose. Right. And one more I wanted to share. Mm -hmm. um, it says, uh, let's see. Why well, actually? Two. It says in Psalms twenty two twenty eight, for kingship belongs to Yahuwah, and He rules over the nations. <laughs> <laughs> and then this last one, Psalm one fifteen three, our Most High is in the heavens; He does all that He pleases. Wow heard that he does all that he pleases i don't know how Guys, more clear he's in he can control get. the scripture tells us <laughs> he's controlling all of this everything so the virus pandemic everything this is everything. god's doing god everything and he wants us to turn from our ways turn our hearts to him and he loves us it's not in his will for any of us to right. perish but when you are when i mean when you see a world that's continuing to just stray away from him and his his will his his instructions his right. torah all of these things that helps us mm -hmm. to prosper you know in this life in the the life to come right he has to do what he has to do <laughs> <laughs> so that leads us to transition to how um a big part of the hysteria the craziness is the, is the media guys mm -hmm. the media oh has a narrative and I've been saying this from the beginning, how I think the media is, they got so, everyone's so stirred up and whipped into a frenzy that they kind of have to keep the, the, the narrative going, keep the story going of, of how this virus is killing everyone and, and how people are <laughs> just freaking out. Like if you catch it, you're going to die. I, I seen a stat the other day that 98% of the people who contract the virus, they survive. But you won't see that in the media. I was watching the media this morning. I had to turn it off. Uh, first thing they showed was uh, they willing a man, an older man, into the hospital with a mask on and everything. So every day it's hysteria. So I had like, to unfollow the mm -hmm. news. Um, you see? Yes, the news on Facebook, on my social media. I had right. to unfollow all of it because every single time I would go on 
immediately that's all I would see in my news feed. This amount of people have died. Mm -hmm. It's never how many people are recovering. Right. You never see that. Remember Tom Hanks called it. Oh, he called it and all that. The other guy, Is Isra Elba, some actor. They always show the people that contracted, but they never show how they recovered. Or you hear the recovery stories. All you've seen is the deaths. All you've seen is how many people contracted it and the deaths. No recoveries, none of that. How about the Louisiana thing? Right, and we're in Louisiana, <laughs> oh my goodness. You will swear we were ground zero. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, I heard one, like a, a famous, um, what, what would we call him? It's an influencer. An uh, influencer, um, celebrity. celebrity. Right. And he was talking about the, the epidemic and he was like, you know, he was naming different, um, you know, different uh, cities. cities and mm -hmm. he was like, I know um, Louisiana, he said they, they are, what he said? New the Orleans, right. He didn't say New Orleans, oh. he said Louisiana. Wow. He said we are, we are um, considered like the worst. Right. Like, like we're like going. Ground zero. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what? what? Where in Louisiana? <laughs> Where's this? <laughs> Where's all of this going on right. that I'm seeing? You know, on social media. Out, in our, through our city. And we, everybody's inside everybody's the house. We're not even I'm hardly sure seeing anybody anyone. anymore. So many people quarantine, quarantine. So my thing is, if there's so many people quarantine. How are we having all these deaths? And right. How is it that everyone's lives is, is upended and right. everyone is inside? And it's, it's horrible. You know, people are just falling off and dying. And Louisiana and left crazy. and right. Right. But. We're here. According to the media, if it bleeds, it leads. <laughs> so you right. always want to get the negative news right. first. Um, That's why we have to be careful with what we feed on when it comes to the news. Right. And the media is not showing the positive stories and push showing the narrative of, of what's really happening. Um, we want to show you guys this video of this, this girl who went to the hospital. You probably saw it. If not, then you check it out. Uh, we've been saying this before we even saw the video of we believe that um, Again, coronavirus is real. We're not saying people are not dying from it, but because y'all can just, bring the plagues right. We just read it. We, we you just know? read it, but the media is uh, Lumping everything in together with coronavirus So if you have a cold if you have pneumonia if you have influenza, that's all being lumped together with uh, the virus and you just have to tell them your symptoms you that's don't even it, have to right. get tested and they're gonna automatically they automatically tell you tell you COVID-19 watch, watch this video take this out I'm saying they didn't swab me or test me or nothing and look what the fuck paper say reason for visit fever diagnosis COVID-19 they didn't test me for this shit he told me I had it bro he didn't test me for it he told me I fucking had it bro he told me I fucking had it bro come on now Come on now, look at what my temperature was. I ain't even had no temperature when I went in that bitch. Come on now. But because I told him, but because I told him I can't taste and smell, he know I got it. Oh, well that's the that's the number one the number one symptom that's been going around lately is not the smell or taste. So I'm not gonna say we're just gonna say you have it and quarantine you for two weeks. That's exactly what he said, bro. We're just gonna say you have it. We're just gonna tell you you have it. So they diagnosed me with, with coronavirus. So guys, you see what's going on. You you won't see that video on on your local news channel because <laughs> it doesn't fit the narrative. And uh, excuse the girl's language and everything, but she's telling the truth. And it's like I say, we've been saying that before this even happened. That everyone is getting lumped into a certain category. If you just say you have a cough, um, in fact, we were dealing with a little cough. We're like, <laughs> we're not coughing. <laughs> You know, Take some natural right. remedies. Take natural remedies. Knock it out. Knock it out, and <laughs> we feel fine. Exactly. So we're not mm -hmm. going there to get lumped in with the other statistics, guys. Don't believe the hype. Um, it's, they're just sticking with the narrative to, to promote. We know that an agenda is going on. Um, we don't know those who are woke. Right, who's a woke? We don't know what's well. Part of it is power. We know that they want power. Don't let a good crisis go politics. to waste. Right. A lot of it is <laughs> politics. Um, again, it's an election year. I don't know if you've seen the banner circling around uh, social media of mm. every election year. It, it's, we always have a virus. <laughs> there's Ebola. There's SARS. Um, so many viruses every election year. Now, this election year, we have another one. Right. But, uh, guys, this is a narrative. What a coincidence. So, we have another video for you guys to check out. This doctor, he's this guy's an actual doctor, and he's getting guidelines mm. from the federal it's government. Deep guys, and he's they're sending out memos to these guys of how to label the the debts of people. 
Um, and he just basically says that even if they have some symptom, not even a symptom, if they can come back and just connect it to a symptom of COVID, of the virus, they will label it as that person died from the virus. So I'm not going to go too much into it. Just listen to his words. Again, guys, this is a doctor and he's getting guidance from the federal government. So check this video out. As a physician, I received an email last week from the Department of Health coaching me on how to fill out death certificates. And I've never really received coaching from the vital statistics uh, agency in terms of how to do a death certificate. But basically, I felt like they were saying, you know, you don't have to have a confirmed laboratory test for COVID-19 in order to make the death certificate be COVID-19. So wait, 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 wait. Uh, sir, 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 let me interrupt you. But that what you just said, I think is critically important. Can you repeat what you just said, please? Well, last Friday, I received a seven page document that sort of told me that if I had an 86 year old patient that had pneumonia, but was never tested for COVID-19, but sometime after she came down with pneumonia, we learned that she had been exposed to her son who had no symptoms, but later on was identified with COVID-19, that it would be appropriate to diagnose on the death certificate COVID-19. Now we've not done that. If someone has the pneumonia after, and, and it's in the middle of a flu epidemic, and I don't have a test on influenza, I don't diagnose influenza on the death certificate. I will say uh, this elderly patient sure. died of pneumonia. I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I, I, my heart is sinking right now as you're telling me this. You're, you're a doctor. Why in the world would they be sending you out information to fill out death certificates, whether the person's been diagnosed with COVID-19 or not, but then to say in the death certificate, this person's death was caused by COVID-19? That, that does not sound right to me. I went to the person in our office who does most of the death certificates over the last you know, 10, 20 years, and I said, does this sound right? I had her look at the documents that I printed it off, and she said, well, we've always been told that you always put down just facts. You don't put down any probabilities. You don't put any presumptions down. It's just what you know. Again, guys, another video <laughs> that you won't see on your local news channel. Stay woke. Stay woke. This is the real woke. I'm just, you see it on social media, man. It's how many people posting up this and that is happening, but they're just, again, they're just pushing the fear. They're playing into the narrative of the media. And I'm not, <laughs> really, guys, I'm just kind of just tuned out. I'm corona out because people, <laughs> their mind is just so set on a certain thing that they can't hear anything else. And that's why we decided to make this video, right. guys, because... We want you guys to stay you, woke. Right. We want you be to aware be of aware of happening. the narrative of what's happening. Don't eat everything that they're feeding you. <laughs> we got we, we, we to stay We got to stay awake you know? of what's going on yes. and, and, and know what's happening. So... Again, the, the doctor just explained that you heard the other girl's video. A narrative is being promoted because of the power, because of politics. And they ha didn't they have a journalist that came yeah, out and said that? Yeah, we had a journalist that? that said he's, they're basing, they're making all these decisions for the whole country, for the whole world based on flawed numbers, flawed models. Remember, at the beginning, they were saying 2.5 million people were going to die just in the United States alone. That number has jumped from 2.5 <laughs> to 60,000. <laughs> so the whole country is shut down for 60,000 deaths. Every year, the flu kills about 100,000 people. So Is it 100? I know it's, it's a lot. Yeah, 60,000 60, or 100, right. you know, because they give different numbers. But we know it's yeah, more it's than more that. more than 60,000. So, again, we shut the country down for 60,000 deaths. And I'm not saying... The people that it affected or the people that have died from it is not important. Right. We're just saying right. that it's a it's 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 a bigger thing that's going on yes. that, that we're all caught up in yes. the middle of. And if we get if we continue to get caught up, what we're doing is we're playing dead into the narrative. We're playing dead into the narrative and you we're know. trusting on we're leaning on man and not exactly. On and to report news and I mean I've had people, you know, family members, they're talking to me about the news and mm -hmm. I mean like gun ho about it like hey you know this is true and this is what's happening and i'm like are y'all really just sitting down watching the news all day all really taking day. all that in and, and believing exactly. every single bit of it no this is the same media that portrays the black man as an animal mm. <laughs> that plays mm. the black woman as a jezebel and just a angry a sexual object right. yeah, always just... angry and all that so if they don't have our best interest in mind then again we're hearing now too that magically or 
just out of what a coincidence that the virus is only affecting black people. Hmm. <laughs> really? <laughs> really. Have you heard in Africa there's an article out that says that they only want to test the virus on Africans. They want to test the what a coincidence. The, the vaccine on Africans. They don't even want to mm -hmm. test it on the French or the Britons. They want to test it on Africans first. So what a coincidence that in America all 70% of the uh, infections are those mm -hmm. who are getting harmed by the virus that are African Americans. Wow. So, what did you say um, about not letting a, a, a crisis, a, a crisis? Yep. Don't let a big crisis go to waste. <laughs> My goodness. And that's, that's, that's what we're seeing unfold that's right what before they're our doing. eyes. Yeah, this is a crisis. They created it. And now all the changes are going to happen after this. We know they're going to be changes after this, guys. So this world, that. absolutely. So that's why I want to talk about the solutions. We told you all of the <laughs> negative things that are going on. Let's talk about this. What we advise you guys to do. What right. we're doing. Right. Yes. What <laughs> we're doing. And now we're Walking just... Walking by we're drunk. Right. We're drawing closer to Yah, guys. Yes. That's what we want you to do. Yes. Lean on Yah, not on your own understanding. Yes. I have a, a scripture where he tells us that... Uh, find it right quick. Trust in Him. Trust in Him. We are trusting in Yah. He's our only deliverer. I mean, exactly. Him and Yahushua. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6, it says, Trust in Yah with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. <laughs> In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. So, guys, we have that's to lean way. on him. That, that's the only way. We can't lean, lean on man, because as we just showed you mm -hmm. guys, man is all over the place. <laughs> and no man is in control of anything. No. It is Yah. They're, they're He's logic, in control they're, of everything. Their information is flawed. Remember, 2.5 million to 60,000. That's one big jump. A big difference. <laughs> But you're not hearing about that jump anymore. Stay it's not woke, the, guys. It's not fitting the narrative. Mm. Also, um, pray for the nation, guys. Pray for our leaders. Pray for our family members. We as need to hard, get stronger, as, right? As hard as it <laughs> might be for some who don't want to pray for Trump and the leaders. Right. It's important to pray. And let me, let me confirm it in y'all's word. Tells us. Right. Because I don't want it to be coming from my, you know, from just me. It says in um, 1 Timothy 2, 1 through 4, mm -hmm. it says, I exhort, therefore, that, wait, is it, here is it, yep, I exhort, therefore, that, first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for all men, for kings, the leaders <laughs> of today and for all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all set apartness and honesty for this is good and acceptable in the sight of yeah. Elohim yes, our Lord. Savior yeah, who, who will word. have all men to be saved mm -hmm. and to come unto the knowledge of the truth hmm. That Hallelujah. is really his desire. Especially in these last days, God. We pray that more people can come into the truth before Yah's wrath and, and yes. um, his judgment comes upon yes. the land that he calls his people out of this world. And that's yes. what we got to pray for. And, and for protection. Protection you know, for us, for our family That we don't become despondent, but that we be strong. We walk by faith and not by sight and trust him with mm -hmm. our whole hearts. That is very, very important in these times. Yes, indeed. Um, another thing is just um, piggybacking on what we said earlier. Mm -hmm. Guys, you have to turn off the television. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even if you have to turn, get off social media for a bit. Um, because that cycle of depression, anxiety, anger, that's that's all mm -hmm. that does for you. I, I find myself just tuning out all of this stuff. Me man, too. Because it, it's depressing. It makes me angry. Yes. So... A lot of times I just have to pull back yes. and, and just like how we were just talking, just pray for people. Pray yes. that they come out of it. Absolutely. Pray that they turn to Yah. Right. Because, uh, again, I don't believe anyone knows what the answer is, what they're doing. But we know that they're using this crisis to push their agenda. Right. We do believe that. But, um, right. Turn off the TVs, guys. Get out, get out of the house. Get some fresh air. 
go walk. We we go walk sometimes in the afternoon, in the mornings. Um, spend time with your kids. We get them building, involved. Get them involved. We started building scriptures. a garden, right? Yes. Read read the scriptures together. Yes. Right. A Plant garden. you a garden. I mean, people are, are planting gardens left and right. Yes. So just getting outdoors and, and doing stuff. Right. And, and you know, being but, smart about things. Right. You know on how how to proceed. Right. With protect all that yourself. Is protect right. your family, especially the elders. Right. Um, Yes. With the if you have to wear a mask when you go out, do that. You can wash your hands and all that other stuff. But Depending on on the individual. Right, but don't live know? in fear, guys. Right. Don't live in fear. And that's probably what, what we had, and we just want to finish up with a couple of scriptures. Um, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 17, 17, seven, seven through, eight. through eight. But blessed is the one who trusts in Yahuwah, whose confidence is in Him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. Wow. <laughs> it has no worries in a year of drought mm. and never fails to never fails to bear fruit. <laughs> See this right there, guys. We put our trust in him, we'll never fail to bear fruit. Jeremiah 17 and 7, 8. Yes. Um, and no worries in, in a year of in drought. In a year of drought. So with all <laughs> this chaos going around, it, it's like a drought. They're saying we, <laughs> we may go into a uh, depression. We have no fear, God, because our trust is in Yah. And we should draw near unto Him, not yes. on man. Absolutely. Because man can do nothing for us, guys. Yeah, they can send us a little stimulus <laughs> check, but <laughs> how long will that last? Right. We need to, our sustenance to, our... to come from Yah. Mm -hmm. Right. Scripture tells us what? Man cannot eat on bread alone. He cannot survive on bread alone. But from every word that like comes from the, from the mouth of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. And we just want to finish with this last scripture, guys. Thank yes. you for staying with us, for checking out the video. Yes. And uh, we believe this is the most important scripture out of all. It, it yes. pretty much sums up everything what we've been talking about. Absolutely. This is very important that you guys, you know, continue to... You know, reflect on Psalms 91, mm -hmm. which is that's um, the scripture, Psalms 91. Mm -hmm. um, because this right here confirms our protection and why it's important to trust Yah. Because mm -hmm. He will carry us through everything. And it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Yahuwah, He is my refuge and my fortress. My Elohim, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the of the fowler, of the fowler, <laughs> and from the nosum pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. <laughs> Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Hmm. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Yes, Only with thine eyes Shall thy behold and see the reward of the wicked? Well, second, the eye tells us that mm. a thousand, mm. ten thousand will drop all around you, but nothing shall come near you. Mm. You shall not be harmed by any of these mm. things. Mm. Mm. So guys, put our trust in yes. Him. Yes, yes. You will not be harmed. Hallelujah. Absolutely, absolutely. It says, Because thou hast made Yahuwah, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy, thy <laughs> habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, mm. neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Mm. No Powerful, plague. Yes. no plague. Shall come near your dwelling. Yes. That's verse 10, verse 11. For he shall give his angels, my locks, which we know is my locks, charge mm. over thee to keep them or to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, 
lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. <laughs> thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet, because he had set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he had known my name. Mm. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Whew. Hallelujah. Powerful. <laughs> Heart that felt. sums up everything, guys. That's really it. He tells us that nothing will harm us. No pestilence, no plague will harm us when we put our trust in Him. He really when got call, us. Yes, when we call upon His name. So, guys, that's why we, we did this teaching. We feel that it was needed because all of the craziness that we're seeing, yes. that people are just losing their mind. People are freaking out, falling for the narrative, falling for the okie doke. Do not lean upon man, lean on Yah. It's time lean to trust Yah word. and trust on not him. on our own understanding. Exactly. He got it and he got us. If you pray about it, don't doubt it. Yah going to deliver. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and we That's thank it. you guys. Thank you for joining thank us. You I hope guys. you enjoyed this video. I hope it was a blessing to you guys. And yes. Just be smart guys. Be safe. Don't fall for the okie doke. Um, just prepare ourselves, prepare our families. Yes. Draw closer to Yah, guys, and He gonna protect us through these tumultuous, crazy times, <laughs> guys. <laughs> right. And we just pray that Yah protects us before His judgment, before His wrath is yes. cast upon the earth, yes. guys. So and that, also pray that we can escape the times that will come upon the earth to test the earth. Especially which is what now, the word tells us to do. What a coincidence that it is Passover weekend. <laughs> All this craziness is happening. Right. So if he delivered the Hebrews thousands of years ago. He can do the same for us. And we trust on him. Hallelujah. His word is true. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. All Thank right. you for joining us. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>